what made you, Glenn, decide to get into real estate to begin with? Well, Chelsea, I was broke. I just needed money. That's what one thing we had to have was money. We had to figure out how to make large chunks of cash quickly. I always wanted to be in real estate to buy rentals and build it the long way. And yes, it's a couple hundred bucks a month and you have to start to build up your, your business. Well, Amber, when we first met, Amber was like, well, I like to design stuff. And I'm like, I don't like to design anything. I just want to make money on it, right? And she's like, well, I love to design. So that marriage of I need to make money because I was actually $80,000 in credit card debt going through divorce and Amber loving to design and I love to put deals together. We found a great business relationship on top of a great marriage, on top of a great partnership and best friendship. We were able to find that we both worked well together because we did different things. That's how we got into real estate investing was because we had to get into real estate investing. We didn't have a choice. And we had to figure out how to make large chunks of cash. And don't forget, we did it back in 2007 when the market was, was tanking. We did our first deal in 2007 and sold it in 2008. And we the next one we got a loan for from the bank. And then after that, um, we lost all of our funding because all the banks shut down and we had nothing. And we realized, hey, this... We can make some money at this. And here we are 700 houses later, which that sounds insane when I hear it, just so you know, that sounds crazy to me, but it, it, it just is. Over time, right? I said, I said when we started this today that over time, you can build a business. And so as you build a business over time, well, you start to accumulate uh, a track record. And that's what we've done. And now our company does over 100 deals a year.